Alright, welcome to this Health Matters with me, Dishan Kumar. Today, we are in Publica. Now, what are we doing here? We are at Spine Fit Chiropractic. We are going to be talking about chiropractic medicine. I am going to be putting myself in a few sessions. I have my colleague Isabel who will also be joining us. So join me into this episode. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, oh, yes. A quick push. Oh, yeah, oh. All right, thank you, Dr. Joseph, for joining us today. No problem. Uh, we will actually start off with um, your uh, vision or your view on uh, uh, alternative medicine. Okay. Uh, what is chiropractic medicine? Chiropractic, in layman terms, is basically a profession that focuses, that utilizes our hands. So, chiro means hands, practice means practice. We basically use our hands to treat patients. And what are the areas we focus on is basically three things the nerves which is the electrical system in your body, the muscles and your joints which are responsible for movement. So we treat a wide variety of problems, not ranging from your headaches, your neck pain, your disc injuries, your knee osteoarthritis. So depending on what is going on, we'll definitely recommend what is needed accordingly and basically how many times will it take also as well. Alternative so in the sense that it's drugless, we don't use drugs and then we don't prescribe medication or we don't do any surgery. Okay, and uh, is it something that one person has to go for a few sessions or is it like I go for one time and it, I might get better and, and or there it all depends some, on, the, yeah, on there the are There are some cases where we see people they get better or they immediately improve after one session but that's not what we always aim for because most injuries accumulate over time. All right? Right. Even though the injury just happened, nice, that I like to tell people is that injury and trauma is spontaneous but healing takes time. So a lot of times we need to see people a couple of times before they actually have full improvement or before they feel much better also as well. Okay, uh, maybe you can move into your story. Why did you actually start alternative, uh, get into to, alternative medicine? To keep it short, my first choice was actually medicine or dentistry. Okay. The typical medical the healthcare top two. Yes, yeah. dream for my parents. But what inspired me to take up chiropractic is that at that time, there was uh, where I studied previously, I knew International Medical University and when I was there during the open day, as usual, the medical councils are all occupied and at the time, the head of program, his name is Professor Michael Henlein, he approached me and started talking to me about chiropractic, which I did not ask. So I just sat down there, hear him talk about it. He piqued my interest a bit and then I went back home, did a bit of research and what really inspired me after that was, after that, my sister had terrible headaches after getting into a netball accident. Uh, she was playing that ball and then the ball accidentally hit the back of her head. She was not paying attention. So because of that, she had headaches non-stop. She went to see the GP, took medication, did not work. Went to see an optometrist because she thought something wrong with her eyes yeah. because of specs. Last case, wanted to see a neurologist. At the time, I was about to enter the chiropractic program. So I decided to send her to see my professor in the university. And he basically explained, oh, there was a problem in her neck. Basically, one of the joints in her neck was restricted, stuck. That's why it's causing all these symptoms. He adjusted it. That was the first time I saw an adjustment. Oh. And that's where she felt much better after a few sessions. Oh. Okay. So a personal story, yeah. something that happened? Not done by me, but a family member. Mm. So that's what inspired me to continue my studies in IMU. All right, mm -hmm. uh, we move into alternative medicine mm -hmm. uh, because we believe you actually uh, did your board exam in Australia. Mm -hmm. How is it uh, big alternative medicine in Australia compared to Asia? Uh, what are the differences? It's definitely more developed and more recognized there. A lot of chiropractic, has, chiropractic care or chiropractic has been in Australia way, way much longer compared to Malaysia. Hence, a lot of people there see their chiropractors Though they don't treat chiropractors as more like their doctors, even some of them treat it as a lifestyle also as well. So getting adjusted regularly is like us sending our car regularly for maintenance. They reach the point that getting adjusted helps them to achieve optimal health or basically to help to improve their overall performance, whether it's at work or at home or even at their sports. Mm, okay, mm -hmm. and because if you want to talk about in Asia, mm -hmm. chiropractic medicine is something that's very touchy-feely. Yes. How is that? Is there, are people still open or did you find when you started off in Malaysia, people were like, what is this? I don't know about this. During and my first year of practice, you can see a lot of people are hesitant at first mm -hmm. because what is chiropractic? Who are chiropractors? A lot of first people think that oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a technique from the US, for example. So a lot of people wanted to try their usual 
mainstream medicine, your Chinese, your traditional Indian and traditional Malay. So when they come to see us after that, of course, what we have to do additional in comparison to other countries is that we have to spend a bit more time educating them. What the not just what about chiropractic is, what the procedure is going to be like, what they should expect to feel, uh, what are the expected results. And they, most of the time, what I get feedback from my clients or practice members that they say that no other doctor has done this before. Usually they just, oh, you have pain here, okay, I give you this, mm. you take this, I do this, you go back home, you come back see me. So, as a chiropractor, since it's being very new in Malaysia or in Asia, all of us have to take the extra initiative to explain or to educate people, so which most of the time, everyone appreciates it. That, okay, this is what I'm going to go through. Yeah, because it's information, you give them yes. information and they know how their body works. Right. And it has to reassure them that it's not going to hurt, this is yeah. the results they're going to get, and basically it helps to boost up the impression or the perception of chiropractic in Malaysia. All right, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we talked uh, about earlier about this. Like, uh, how big is it uh, mm -hmm. in Australia or in, in the US? Like, do people take chiropractic very seriously? To the point that there are a lot of, to some to some extent, some people actually see their chiropractor first before their medical doctors mm -hmm. for whatever complaints they have not just limited to your neck and back pains, even a simple common cold or flu, they actually see the chiropractor first. And which is why I'm going to go to one of the philosophies of chiropractic is that we focus on the health of the nervous system, which is basically the electrical system in your body and yep. it controls everything in your body from your movement of your hands or legs or even your internal organs. So they actually see the chiropractor first before they see their medical doctor in cases like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, maybe we can go into your patients. Mm -hmm. uh, what, is, what is the demographic of your patients? I mean, uh, and all the patients that you have dealt with in, in, uh, throughout being a chiropractor. Yeah. In a nutshell, and I've been practicing for four years, I've seen people, my team and myself have seen the people from all walks of life, ranging from as young as one year old all the way up to 88 years old, from different ethnicity, you know, Malay, Chinese, Indian. Depending on what problems they have, all right, we will assess and then we'll treat them accordingly because how I take care of a one-year-old will be very different from how I take care of an 88-year-old. No, but it's so interesting, like a one-year-old has problems that you can actually, like what, what, what was well, the, the... What issue? do one-year-old one most of the time do? They start walking. Okay. As they start walking, you can see they bump into things, they fall, they start to touch things. So that is already a form of trauma or mini trauma that's already being introduced at a, such a young age to their joints, to their spine, to their body. So of course, most parents will brush it off. Ah, oh, it's nothing. Mm -hmm. but Kids, they don't tell you, Mom, I have pain, mm. or Dad, I have pain. They cry. That's how they respond to pain. Yeah, exactly. So, if, let's say a child keeps on crying, you know there's something wrong. So, that's where parents bring it in to see whether there's something wrong with their spine, knees, wrists, and we check, we check. If it's from it, it's from the spine, we get it fixed. If it's not, we refer them to a general practitioner or a pediatrician to see whether it's something with the internal organs, okay. the lungs, or any other parts of their body. Okay, doctor. Final question. Mm -hmm. Your advice for people who think they have a problem but mm -hmm. uh, who have problem for, for years because mm -hmm. we have uh, patients that have problem for years, they mm -hmm. don't know what to do. Yeah. What would be your advice? My advice to them is definitely all these alternative medicines are great. Everyone is expert in their fields. So it's your job to do your own research to find out which ones you feel that is the best suitable approach for you. But in terms of chiropractic, I can assure you that is definitely one of the most gentle approach and very specific to addressing the root of the problem rather than just the pain. Right. Okay, thank you Dr. Joseph. No problem, thank you very much. Back. This is Health Matters with me, Dishan Kumar, and we are at Spine Fit Chiropractic Clinic. And uh, in this session, we have our very special model, Isabel, who's going Hello. to be our model for a very simple spine adjustment right. with uh, Dr. Lo Chi. Right. Thank you for joining us. So, Isabel, how do you feel? I feel really, really excited because this is my first ever chiropractic um, session. So, really, really looking forward to some. Um, you know, joint popping, <laughs> bone cracking. Hopefully, you'll get that right. Realize yes. Everything. Okay. That's All right. right. So right. join us in this today, in today's session. So Isabel, I think you should get it. All right. See ya. Okay. So.
So the first part, we normally start from the pelvic region there. So what I want you to do is this one, lower leg straight, upper leg bend, drop it down, good. Your hand, just come out a bit more. This one on your elbow and elbow. Okay, so far so good? Yep. Okay, I'm just going to bring you slightly closer to me. That's right. Okay, so during the adjustment, one of the common thing that will happen is that you might hear some cracking noise, but I rest assure you that it's so, not going to be painful. So the cracking noise is actually gas yes. releasing from, from the, the joint joints. movements and all. Okay. I mean, there are times that we feel the movement, there's no gas bubble release, then we don't get that audible sound. Mm. It's not that after every adjustment, we you should have to always... Have yeah. Yeah. doesn't mean that it's actually correct. working. Okay. Correct. The sound doesn't correlate with how much of a movement there is, okay. whether or not it has moved. But as long as we feel that there's movement, there's a restoration of the body function, mm. that's what we want to achieve at the end of the day. Okay. Okay, you ready? Ready, Isabel. <laughs> so, your hand, just put to this side. Good. Relax, just huh? throw it over a little. Good. Take a deep breath in for me. Lift out all the way as much as you can. And relax your shoulder. Oh. Wow. Did you get that? Did you get that? Did you get that? Did you get that? That was a good one. Wow. You alright? Yeah. Okay. Turn. Turn this. Goes to the other side. I'm so excited. No worries, it's really good to do it again. Okay, thank you. So that didn't hurt, right, Isabel? That, that no, it was yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it should be quite gentle and the experience should be quite good. It shouldn't mm. be something that is very, very forceful because mm. speed matters more than uh, force. If it's too much of a force, sometimes people will feel a bit more sore yeah. after and the whole experience wouldn't be too pleasant as well. Okay, so this is for the lower back which is a compensation right here, it should be quite soft. Mm -hmm. You feel it? A bit, yes. That's right. right? Yeah. Okay, same thing. Mm -hmm. I need to take a deep breath in for me. Lift out all the way. Roll your lower body down. Once again, big breath in. Lift out all the way. Oh! <laughs> Ow, I felt that! <laughs> okay, wow. that was like a right adjustment for that right part of the lower back. That wow. is when like it releases everything at the same time. Okay, so far so good? Yes. So far so good. <laughs> okay. okay, next one is for the mid part of the back. Right. That's having a lot of restriction from this one. Mm. So get you turn around like face up for me, yeah? Face up. up. Face yeah, face, face up. up. Right. Okay, Isabel? <laughs> <laughs> all good. All good. She, wow. she should feel really good actually. Yes. Okay, so this one's very simple. I want you to hug yourself like this. <laughs> Both the legs, bend up for me please. Put it here. Okay, and just wrap it around. Okay. Now I want you to slowly turn to the side. Okay. And I will contact on the area that I find that it's not moving well, which is right about here. Same thing, I want you to take a deep breath in. Breathe out all the way, roll your shoulder and the neck back. Hold, look. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay, yes. so far so good. good. That was quite good one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and legs <laughs> straight. And now I'll move over and adjust the neck as well, okay? Yes. You see a lot of this um, scenes in movies and Yeah, stuff, you're you know, right. You get the neck cracked and twisted. The, yes, twisted that person so called dies. Nice. So, 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 How fatal is that? Yeah. <laughs> How fatal is that? Um, it's this move right now. <laughs> Actually, uh, an adjustment in a neck done by a skilled chiropractor is mm. almost can say that it's 100% safe mm. because we would do the initial assessment to rule out if there's any possibility that you have Yeah, any because disorder. everybody's neck is different as such. Correct. As such. Then once we rule that out, which means it's pretty safe to adjust, and as long as we don't turn the head all the way to the other, other side. side. <laughs> You're not that flexible, Isabel. <laughs> That's right. And then it would be almost can say that there's no harm in any way at all. Okay. And a lot of times when we release the tension 
from the joints that are not moving well mm -hmm. that's when people feel a lot a lot better and it releases all this tension that sometimes can even connect up to the head okay, problem. and give you can actually cause headaches wow okay. okay so for Isabel her main restriction comes from the C3 segment mm -hmm. so there's seven segments in the neck each and every segment should move mm -hmm. and when I were to challenge the joint I feel right here not moving at all mm. so that is when I know that I need to do my job and I will come over to the side okay. so you see the rotation will be very little so from head to the side turn a little bit and just a quick push <laughs> Are you right okay? <laughs> How did that feel? How did that feel? Great! <laughs> I was like, I had my eyes closed, right? Yeah. All of a sudden, my neck was cracked. I was like, <laughs> reborn, yeah. reborn, yeah. that's it. Reborn, reborn. right? Okay. Sometimes right. the restriction can give you so much of a problem that right after the restriction is clear, you can even feel a sudden blood rush mm. to the brain and give you like a clearer mind and a vision at the same okay. time. Okay, so then I just recheck. Everything is doing well until here. Mm -mm. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, also it's the junction between the neck and the upper back and commonly very tendon because of looking down. Looking down at the phone. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll just fix this one as well. Very simple. Okay. Okay, now I need you to relax this muscle. You know it's coming already. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I felt okay. that. I felt <laughs> that. Yeah. Wow. wow. Okay. Oh. That's right. That's right. But it's not painful, right? No. It's very, very yeah. gentle. Yes. It's not too much of a force, also. Mm. So you don't feel the soreness and the tension about that. Yeah. Once again, we recheck everything, and the tenderness shouldn't be there anymore. Right. Feel like relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So far, so good. Mm. Everything is good. Yeah. Turn to the side once again. And face over to the other side again. Perfect. Very, very good. So I would say that we achieved quite a bit from today to restore the balance on both sides and you should feel more relaxed, less pain and aches. That's right. And typically, this is how a session of an adjustment for the full spine would be be it um, sometimes when you have some lower back pain, neck pain, or postural related. Most of the time, when we see it's very, very much postural related. Mm. Okay. So will okay. we get better posture after this? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Alright, thank you Joshin for yep. joining us today. Sure. I am dressed up in this <laughs> traditional medical gown. Yep. So uh, we are going to be doing dry needling today, but uh, before that, uh, what is dry needling? So dry needling is actually a form of manual therapy uh, that healthcare professionals do as part of their recovery process to help the clients to recover. Uh, usually uh, it has to do a lot with musculoskeletal conditions mm -hmm. and uh, basically it involves a, a needle and usually you insert to a tight muscle and to release it and reset the muscles. So uh, usually we'll identify those muscles that gives rise to their symptoms mm -hmm. and then um, we will, based on the outcomes of the assessment, we actually treat those muscles to help to achieve relaxation okay. and all that. First question, yep. is it painful? <laughs> Good question. Uh, they're probably the uh, most common question that we have over here. Uh, because it involves a sharp object, uh, usually you feel the prick a little bit. Okay. Uh, but apart from that, you will feel slight twitch uh, from the muscle itself. Okay. Um, very hard to put in words, but usually it, you need to experience it firsthand so to, to know what how it feels like. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> so uh, before we proceed with the uh, treatment, usually we do some assessment. So mm -hmm. we'll perform some assessment to check how's your range, uh, how is it, how's your how's the neck giving you issues, is that giving any issues? And then from there we'll proceed uh, to the treatment itself. Okay. Okay. Sure. So now you're applying alcohol, alcohol swabs. Yeah, alcohol swabs. Okay. So this part of the muscle. So this part of the muscle is also a finding that we have mm -hmm. from your assessments earlier, mm -hmm. because they usually muscles they the tight muscles they come in pairs. 
uh, or multiple muscles at the same time. Okay. So we tend to overwork this muscle over here. Mm -hmm. This is what we call a traps. You heard it a lot of times, uh, people call it a trap, a trapezius muscles. Okay. And then in order to support your neck, okay. where we tend to slouch or we tend to stand for yes, a I long. Slouch a lot. Downwards for me, yeah. Good. Yep. Maybe it's easier, yeah. Good. So for this one, I'm just gonna go very gentle and relax the shoulders mm -hmm. for me. Yeah, oh yes. I feel that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna pick it up, poke it in, and you need to do it. Yeah, that hurts. Oh, yes, oh. oh. You're feeling it? Yes, very much. Oh, oh yep. Yeah. You're feel a little bit. Oh. Yep. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's the twitch. Yeah, my hand is twitching. Okay, let's call it a day. Alright. Okay. Good. Alright. Okay. So usually after every session, uh, after we do a trigger point need a dry needling on, on those areas, mm -hmm. once we release those areas, we recheck it again. Okay. Uh, but not all the time we will see direct improvements. Mm -hmm. Like in your case itself, because you started off quite well. Mm -hmm. right? Rotations doesn't really fit it a lot. Okay. Uh, then it all depends on when you go back, do you still feel it mm -hmm. over there? Okay. In certain cases, when we have people that come over presenting with limitations mm -hmm. and due to because of restrictions. Limitations is like they can't really turn. Ah, because of the muscles being too stiff or too tight, they mm -hmm. can't move it in certain directions. We will release it, actually, you can see results mm -hmm. straight away. So for different people, actually, we will have different ways to check the, the outcomes. So, uh, so that's for now. So usually we will needle those muscles, we put them back, let them recover from it, and then after that we educate them with some exercises because it's easier to comply mm -hmm. in, that, in that sense. Because otherwise the trigger point itself, they can have long lasting effects on the shoulder blades mm -hmm. and you tend to have it over and over again. Sometimes it keeps on coming back. It's a little bit harder to comply those sort of exercises because yeah. Uh, uh, it's annoying at times, it's annoying at times. Okay. So we use it as a way to treat it and then once our, the symptoms are subsided or recovered, we actually progress with much more thing in, in the form of exercises, mm. which is what we do as physiotherapists to help people to recover from their complaints and then send them back to, to their work or to enjoy their activities they like to do. So what do I, am I going to feel for next week? Is it still going to be sore? So usually uh, the very common... I feel that it's actually better now. Actually. Yeah, so the very common uh, effects of needling is that once after a session, you feel a little bit sore and the soreness typically lasts maybe five to six hours. Okay. Right, for most other people. Uh, but sometimes itself, it can last uh, up to one or two days. Okay. Uh, it feels a little bit like DOMS when you, when you go to work out, mm -hmm. but uh, it shouldn't bother you as much. Okay. It will not bother the movement. So when we're talking about movements, it, right. doesn't, uh, it doesn't affect your work and, mm -hmm. and, and all that. So for after today, you want to ease it a little bit, they can actually go with heat pack. Heat oh, pack okay. works well with, uh, with uh, soreness. You okay. can actually flush it away a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. uh, you can actually drink a little bit more water. So because uh, of the trigger point itself, actually the muscle has been contracted for quite some time mm -hmm. and actually stores a lot of body waste over there. So right. the moment when you release it, you're going to feel pretty sore on those areas. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's going to feel really intense, really sore over there. But the body will actually absorb it and then it's just treat it. So actually the body will just get better over time. Okay, okay cool. Alright, thank All right. you so much. Good, alright. Nice meeting you, alright? Okay. Alright, thank you for watching. This has been Health Matters with me, Dishan Kumar. We uh, analyzed uh, and we actually saw uh, chiropractic management today. Um, when I put myself through dry needling, Isabel put herself through spine adjustment. One uh, of the most important things is that uh, chiropractic medicine is there. It's uh, based on our individual perception or individual perspective, whether we want. It's an individual decision whether you want to take it or not. So uh, please check out places like this. If you have any problems, my name is Jason Kumar. We'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.